how to find the radii or radi uh, radius of the inscribed and circum circumscribed circles of a regular polygon. If there is any regular polygon, then how to find the circum radius and in radius, in circle radius. Okay, or in radius that is known as in circle radius. Or, or okay, and then circum circum radius also. So, what is the uh, this? How to find radii of the inscribed and circumscribed circles of a circles of a regular polygon? If I take regular polygon of number of I mean sides. If I take let me take general form n number of okay sides of a regular polygon. In that situation, we have to find out what is the value of radius, circum radius, and in radius or in circle radius. Okay, so let me take that question by it. Very important question, this is. Again, concepts are very. Next, it is question number. So, radius of the two, two types of circles, in circles and circum circles of a regular polygon. Now, if I take, let me take a regular polygon here. This is a regular polygon. The sides of regular polygon and, and so on. This is first let me take A, B, C, D, and so on. So, this is the regular polygon we are taking. Regular polygon means the sides are equal in this case. Let me length of these sides are A, small a, small a. No problem. A regular polygon of sides, number of sides may be taken as N. Now, if I take Okay, and if I draw an uh, angle bisector, okay, so this angle bisector of this angle and angle bisector of this, they are meeting at a point, let me take this point as ABCD and let me take P here. If I draw perpendicular from here, okay, or let me take O, O I have not taken yet, O and this will let me take P, O P, O P is the perpendicular, we have drawn, okay, now this is angle bisector here, now because these sides are regular sides or equal sides, I mean, these are uh, regular uh, polygon, in this case this B P equal to P C, now this is A by 2 length and this is also A by 2 and this angle and this angle, they are also half angles, because this is angle bisector here. Okay, so if I take that angle, okay, any angle, so what is the angle of a regular polygon that we know? The regular polygon's length, uh, I mean angle will be 2 pi upon n. This is the value of the angle, angle B O C. This is angle B O C here. Sorry, B O C. In this case, B O C we have taken. Value of angle B O C. This is in radians, in radians. A degree, if I take, then pi is 180 degree. So 360 degree upon n. This we know about because n here is, here n is a number of sides of the polygon. Number of sides of the polygon. Okay. This is polygon here, regular polygon. Okay. So n is the number of sides of the polygon, then 2 pi upon n is the each angle subtended by or by each side on the center. This is the center here. We are taking the okay angle bisectors here. Okay. Now in this case, this is B by 2 angle, this is C by 2 because this whole angle is C. This is angle B. This angle is every angle will be same. I mean this angle is uh, because this is equal angle, a regular polygon is having only this angle will be because this is center here 360 degree upon n in degrees of 2 pi upon n is this value. So, in terms of this angle, and this angle will be there for pi upon n because we have to divide that into equal parts. This is also pi upon n, this angle. So, now this is the radius r. O and o B or O C is the capital R, the radius of the circumcircle. Because if I draw a circumcircle, okay, then taking this as the radius, capital radius, cap, cap, capital R here, this is circumcircle. And here, this O P is a small r, small r is for in circle. This in circle value, 
I mean radius of the in circle, this is small r, and radius of the circumcircle because this is the radius of the for circumcircle because from the vertices to the center, the length of that is known as uh, what do you call? Okay, uh, I mean radius of the circumcircle. So this is radius circumcircle. Radius of the circumcircle OB is equal to OC, which are equal, and that is equal to. I have taken here capital R radius of the circumcircle. Okay, so these two sides are R. So this this we have to find out. These two we have to find out. Circumcircle is radius and in circle is radius. So small r we have to find out and capital R we have to find out. This is some introduction of this. Question is what are the radii? What are the radii of in circle? First, I have taken in circle, they are, they are taken circumcircle and circumcircle. Circumcircle of a regular polygon, they say. Of any polygon or regular polygon. In this case, regular polygon is general category, we have to find out. This is a generalized case, general case, I have to say. This is general case here. In this case, in general case, what is the radius of the circumcircle and the, what is the radius of the in circle of a regular polygon. In this case, regular polygon, if it is a triangle, then three sides are there. Quadrilateral, if it is quadrilateral, then it's four sides. Pentagon, five sides, hexagon, and so on. This is the n time, n size regular polygon. Now let me find out what is R n, all these values. And what will the area of this, that area also we have to calculate. What is the area in terms of sides? What is this length is A. This is A here, this is A here, so A by 2, this is base, area of this base will be this uh, half base into height, so this is 1.2 into A by 2, that means A upon 4, oh, sorry, this is A here, A by 2 into this perpendicular length, which is R here, the length of the perpendicular is OP, that we will calculate, that means it's small R we have to calculate, multiply them, that will give us the area, but sides are, of this regular polygon sides are, this is one of the triangles. This kind of n triangles will be formed. That multiplied by n that will give us the area of the triangle. But that will be in terms of if I take sides, this is the side here. If I take the value of this BP and PC, okay, in both the cases or in terms of this BP, and this ON is also calculated in terms of BP, that will be in terms of sides or in terms of R and capital R area can also be calculated. That, that I'll define. Let me take one by one solution here. Now let me change the marker here. Go to this. No, work now. So marker in this case. That's still okay. This is one of the points here. So this is we have done here. Okay, so OB we have this OB equal to OC equal to R we have taken. Let me take first circumcircle because I have written down here in circle but circumcircle first. So let here AB is equal to BC is equal to CD equal to A. Okay, a side, a length of this length of the side, a side of the regular polygon. See, regular polygon we have taken polygon of sides n n sides we have taken here therefore dropping perpendicular here so joining is uh, I mean the center of the regular polygon or we have just taken the bisect of these two angles and they are meeting at the point this so this that will be circumradius here so O B then OB is equal to OC is equal to capital R the radius of the circumcircle this is the radius of the circumcircle and OP is perpendicular to BC hence OP is equal to a small r the radius of the this is the radius of the in circle because this will this radius will touch the, the sides the sides 
touching the sides, the skin circle is drawn. The midpoint of the side is P here, of this side similarly here, similarly if all the all the sides of the polygon will be touched in midpoint of by the circle. So that will be in circle here. Okay, radius of the in circle of the in circle of the polygon of the polygon. This is in circles radius of the polygon is small r. Well, let me take the value of these. This is the brief introduction of them. Well, let me take them one by one. And now this angle is this because this is the angle bisector. We are dropped the perpendicular. This is meeting at the midpoint. So this will bisect the angle. This is the angle bisector again. So this angle is giving us pi upon and pi upon. Okay, now let us take this BO length. What is BO? And in the terms of this side. So here BP, or let me take, but P is the midpoint here. P is the midpoint of BC. Therefore, BP is equal to BC is equal to A by 2. Here we are taking A as the length of the side BC. Or each every side's length is A. So BP equal to BC equal to A by 2. What the point? So in a right angle triangle, in a right angled triangle, BOP, BOP, we have, because we have to find out this capital R, that OP divided by BP. Now, this is a right angle here, because OP, B is a right angle, 90 degree angle, this is hypotenuse. So, hypotenuse upon perpendicular, because this angle we are taking, Angle B O P B are taken. That will be cosec, uh, cosec here. Why? Because sine is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Hypotenuse upon perpendicular is cosec theta. This is cosec of angle B O P. This is angle B O P. This is cosec pi by n. Try to understand. This is half of this whole angle. This is 2 pi n. 2 pi n is the complete angle BOC, but BOP angle is pi by n. We have just substituted cosec of cosec of pi by n. Therefore, OB or OB is equal to BP into cosec pi upon n. What is BP here? This is o, OB is capital R. Therefore, capital R OB, which is capital R, OB is capital R, is equal to BP. BP is A by 2. This is 1.2A into cosec pi by n. So this is the value of circumradius. This is circumradius R. R is equal to capital R is equal to 1.2A cosec pi upon n. Okay. Now let us take small r means in circles radius. Okay. Now this is the first equation we have taken radius capital R. Now in triangle <coughs> again this. Again in triangle again in a right angled triangle which is uh, BOP we have what do we have? Now in this case we have this OP we have to calculate. So this is OP upon BP again. OP upon BP now. In this case, this is perpendicular, BP is perpendicular. Angle this pi upon n we are taking, angle BOP we are taking, considering so the side opposite to angle which we consider is perpendicular. The other side is base, and this is hypotenuse, but this is right angle. Right angle is BPO or OPB, the right angle, 90 degree angle. The side opposite to this is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse we are not considering now. Now we are considering perpendicular, so this base upon perpendicular, that means cot theta. It will be cot of angle BOP. Cot of angle BOP. This is cot of angle pi upon n or OP is equal 
to bp into cot pi upon n okay or op is a small r this is bp bp is a by 2 that means 1 upon 2 a into cot pi upon n okay so this is second equation so this is in circle radius radius of the in circle or in radius in circle radius we have calculated these two are the important points here that we have cut now area what is the area of the polygon regular polygon now area of the regular polygon area of the regular polygon we have found out is equal to n into this kind of triangles will be there area of the triangle area of the triangle is triangle BOC BOC n times so these kind of triangles will be we will have how many triangles number of times n number of times will be there there will be n number of times it will give us n into okay so it will give us n into area of the triangle area of the triangle is half base bc into height op op is the height area of the triangle so this is let me take half now bc is a completely this is a here n let me write here n as it is into op op is a small r okay but r we calculated now this is in terms of radius here this area of the regular polygon is n times a into r now if i take value of r also again in terms of size here so just as we calculated there a small r was cos theta okay that was a by 2 so this was a by 2 here this a by 2 cot pi by a if i substitute that this is 1.2 into a n as it is and value of r bar here was r upon this bp it was bp here was cot theta okay so a by 2 into cot theta that means a by 2 it is again 1.2 a into cot pi upon pi upon n this is in size form Okay, this is 1.4 here a square into n into cot pi upon n so this is in terms of size size is square this is a square here with a upon 2 into a upon 2 again this is 1.4 a square n into cot pi upon this is in terms of size so area of the polygon is here okay all right so now this is in terms of sides sides and angle is there no problem so this is in terms of sides area of the polygon this is area of the polygon regular polygon in this case where n is the number of sides this is area here third equation let me tell you now if i have to convert this in terms of in terms of capital r in terms of radius capital i mean circum circum radius of this, this small r here side and radius we have just taken here 1.2 and this is 1.2 a into n into r it was there okay because this is a triangle here base into height base is a here half b always right in case of triangles and into number of sides total number of sides is n number of triangles will be n and into r is the height the small r is the height now if i just convert that height in terms of capital r okay that let me substitute here or if i put here a value value of a upon n if i calculate this bp upon o or bp upon op that would be sine theta here now let me substitute that value also okay so in terms of capital r what is the area area in terms of 
circum radius in terms of circum radius that can also be calculated now in this case this area was here let me put 1.4 this was a square into n okay into cot it was pi from n here now if i just replace it by uh, this a in place of a if i just put r that means that means substitute that value since we have this bp bp which is perpendicular upon hypotenuse means o, ob or bo is equal to sin theta that means sin pi upon n okay so bp bp which is a by 2 so bp is equal to ob ob is capital r into sin pi by n so in place of bp which is a by 2 either bp is a by 2 half of the sides is equal to r into sin pi upon n now here we were having a by 2 whole square what the point we can write it as a upon 2 whole square it was into n it was caught into pi upon n so in place of a by 2 if i put r sin pi by sin pi upon n it is capital r upon sorry r into sin pi upon n whole square pi upon n pi upon n whole square into n into the cot pi upon n now uh, okay remove this is r square so whole squaring this is r square into sin square pi upon n it will be or let me write n before this is n into sin sin square pi upon n into cot cot means cos pi upon n upon sin pi upon n if i write cot in terms of sin one sin cancel out okay so it will be sin pi upon n to cos pi upon n now let me write again that value so it will be n into r square this is sin pi by n into cos pi upon n if i write it as divided by multiply by 2 and divide by 2 then no change then it will be sin 2 pi upon n this is sin 2 theta formula because sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta into cos theta this is angle pi upon n pi upon n sin pi upon n cos pi upon n it will be 2 sin pi upon n cos pi upon n is 1.2 n into r square into this is nothing but sin 2 pi upon n this is in terms of the third equation capital r in terms of capital r this is the value okay so this is how area is calculated of a regular polygon in terms of either circle radius or in circle radius or in radius okay that is how or in terms of sides only that we have calculated so this is area of the regular polygon in different terms okay now let us check question number nine what does question number nine say let me check that okay so this is area of the regular polygon now let us take question number 9. Question number 9 is of what kind? Okay, now question number 9 says what is the area of a, a regular polygon? Okay, this ninth question we have done for how to find radii of the encircling and that of a regular polygon that we have already calculated. Now, what is the area of a regular polygon? This is ninth question we have done. Ninth question we have completed. Eighth question also we have completed. Because here area of a what is the area of a regular polygon that is done. Now in this case, how to find radii of the encircle and circumcircle that we have done. So this ninth question is covered here in question number nine. Eighth, I think we have completed. Okay, this is because ninth question. Ninth question we have completed. Now let me take tenth question. Question number ten now. For the ninth question, here the area of the level polygon was to be calculated, which I have already calculated. Now, tenth question. If R is the radius of circumcircle of triangle ABC, 
and prove the following. This we have to prove here. Okay, now let us take question number 10. Question number 10 says if capital R is the radius of the circumcircle, radius of the circumcircle, circumcircle of the triangle of the triangle ABC. Okay, then prove the following. Let us prove that. Then prove. Then prove the following. Now there are certain parts of this. First part is yeah, first we have to prove there are A and B two parts are there. The first A parts we have to prove. To prove first part that A upon sine A is equal to B upon sine B is equal to C upon sine C is equal to twice capital R. This is the first part we have to prove. The second part we have to prove. And uh, second part we have to prove that capital R circum radius is equal to ABC upon 4 into capital S. The capital S is the area of the triangle. This capital S denotes area of the triangle. So these two parts of this whole question. Okay. This question, 10th question. So all these questions are taken from students' queries because they have asked me. Number of other questions are there. Many questions are there. But I'll take selected questions so that the concept is clear. So that one can understand the topic and then one can, can find out any question of that kind or, or sometimes different kind of things can be calculated. If the concept is clear, then we can calculate different types of questions. Okay. So that's why this is my easy. So the area of the regular polygon ninth question we have completed just in terms of capital R radius, I mean circum radius of the regular polygon and uh, this, uh, in circles radius also we have calculated the area of the regular polygon. This is how to find radii of in star circles of a regular polygon. So these two questions are in eighth and ninth question are just completed here. Yeah. Okay, so ninth, ninth question was also included. Now tenth is this. Now let us take what is a triangle here. It says ABC triangle is there. Let me take it ABC triangle. Now undoubtedly this ABC triangle if I take, let me take the other angle bisectors they are meeting at this point. Okay and uh, let me take this is open ABC is a right angle, is a triangle, any triangle, a right angle triangle. ABC is a triangle. Now, <coughs> this is circum radius. Now, if I draw a perpendicular, this is capital R here, capital R. Okay, so I have joined these angle bisectors, we can see, and they are just intersecting at this point. The bisector of this also will meet this, or we can say the other medians here. If the medians are meeting each other at a certain point and that point is taken, distance of that point is taken up to that point, then it will give us the circum radius. Okay. And then if I draw a perpendicular from this point, this will meet the midpoint of this. This is D point, let me take. Okay, A, B, C and D. And this will be small r in circles radius. Small r is here. This is capital R we have to find out. And the small r also because no small r is not there. Only capital R, the radius of the circumcircle we have to find out. Okay, so let us take this circumcircle straight here. Now in case of this, okay. Now we know that if I take this this whole angle, now we we know that this angle subtended by any arc now suppose this this is arc here bc subtending angle at the center this is center suppose this is twice of the angle a so this will be a and this angle will also be a here i am not taking this r but in circle we are not to draw okay so only these two angles are equal to a angle this is 100 percent true reason is if i drop a perpendicular od this is perpendicular here then this angle, this is angle bisector OD, 
which meets the side BC at midpoint that we have taken. Okay, so what is the side of this and this whole triangle? Now sides are this is B side, this is C side, and this is complete A. All the other sides of the triangle. Okay, so this R we have to calculate in terms of a small a or sin c or etc. So in terms of sin b or sin c, and let me calculate in terms of a first. a upon sin a is what? If that value it comes out to be 2r equal to 2r, then we can find out yes, the other will also be there b upon sin b. If I change the this is b capitals, if a, b, and c, if the terminology is changed, is changed, then we will get other form b also. First, half, we just calculate that what is the value of this capital R. Okay, so what is the value of this BD? Now, BD is A by 2 because D is the midpoint here. This is also A by 2. What the point? So, in this, let me take solution. In a triangle ABC, in a triangle ABC, Okay, we dot angle bisectors either they are meeting at point B. Here the angle bisectors here. If I describe that, okay, the area we have not to calculate of this. Okay, so here the angle bisectors OD is perpendicular to this BC. Actually, I have just taken this point here. And uh, I just calculated this point in different ways, but in this way I have taken a different figure, no problem at all. Okay. Okay, so in this uh, case, these two triangles, area of these two triangles are similar. Okay, now if I drop a perpendicular, now we see that these two triangles are equivalent triangles. Reason is this angle is equal to this angle, A angle, this is B side, one side is equal. If two angles are equal, this is perpendicular here, we have taken right angle, this is also right angle, this is angle A, this is angle A, and this side is common. So these two triangles are congruent triangles. Alright, so if I take congruent triangles, then other side.